Well, there is a, a school of thought that you want to allow it to continue so that you can get the intel and sort of try to pe tease that out. I don't necessarily subscribe to that. But their social media um, activity is also very concerning. And to your point about the United States, just remember what FBI Director Comey has said mm -hmm. uh, publicly, that he has open investigations that are radical Islam or ISIS related in all 50, all states. 50 states. And yet we still also, um, we had a lone wolf attack in San Bernardino. And you almost get no follow up on that. Like, I think it's a real injustice to those families that we don't know more about how that happened under our nose. And I would love to say that that was just an isolated incident, but when the FBI is saying they have 50 open investigations, in, well, 50 investigations in all 50 states, we don't know how many right. investigations right. per state and how good our intel is. It, our intel always has to be better than theirs, but the way that they operate in secret, it's very hard to prevent something like this from happening against a soft target. Data so wise, we might have more investigations if we could open up that phone. Right. Well, and, well, and I think that's what they're party, trying to do now. And apparently, they are going to be able to yeah. open up the phone. But I would say this: that I, hats off to the FBI. They should have 50 investigations in all 50 states, and I hope that they would have more because what, that's the only can, way can to I be, understand. Can I, can I be, these can I be provocative here for one second? What's Let me that? be provocative for oh, one sure. second. We have a large Somali population in the in the Twin City. In Minneapolis yeah, area, yeah, yeah. is it worth having extra scrutiny in that area by the FBI and other agencies? They do already, yes. And additional, maybe, looking into taking some liberties. No, you want mean violate our constitution? No, I don't mean violate. But I mean, the gosh, we track we track very carefully young people in that area, their travel, their associations, all that I think is. We're done. doing enough. I don't know if we're. I mean, you can never say because if something happens, you want to make sure. There's more that can yeah. be done because terror takes the path of least resistance, and that's what we don't want to happen here. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Breaking details throughout the hour on the terror in Brussels. Up next, new developments on the investigation with our own Catherine Harridge, including details on the suspects captured in the camera on camera inside the airport. Mm -hmm.